ഹായ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ദ ആസ് യൂഷ്വൽ വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ദ എം സി ക്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് അൾട്രാസോണോഗ്രഫി ഐ ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ് വൺ സെഷൻസ് ഫോർ അൾട്രാസോണോഗ്രഫി ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ സെഷൻ വിൽ ബി ദ കണ്ടിന്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് പാർട്ട് വൺ along with that i have few updates to share with all my viewers the first and the most important thing is that the had exam name have been changed had it was the licensing exam for abu dhabi and it was the health authority of abu dhabi was the exam name which has been changed to doh doh means department of health so the licensing exam have changed from 2021 it is the first new update uh, related with licensing exam of abu dhabi i have already done few of the videos related with the licensing exams as well as the data flow procedures and how much marks have to be scored which all are the exam uh, for the gcc country means the gulf countries I have uh, prepared two videos related with that. I'll be put, uh, sharing the link of those videos in my description box so that you can watch those videos. Along with that, I have few of the queries related with the Kerala paramedical registration. Once we have got the registration, this registration is valid. We need not renew it after a couple of years. it is a lifelong validity certificate few of the viewers have uh, asked me such a query and the first and the most important thing is that uh, now the ministry have made relaxation for the government body registration still all the gcc countries have started accepting private body registration so any of the private body registration those who having any of these private body registration can do your data flow and you can take a uh, exam date for this licensing exam it is a yet another highlight that means you need not wait for kerala paramedical registration since to get the registration it will be going on delayed so now the ministry have changed the rule the private body registration is accepted so you can can go ahead with the licensing exam so before that you have to do some procedures like data flow those who have no idea regarding that can watch these two videos along with that i have few of the whatsapp groups uh, related with radiographic coaching or this coaching group is there uh, hcpc that is uk registration group is there nhs interview special that means we will be discussing the nhs interview questions will be discussed in that group koru ireland registration group as well as cmrt certification group so those who wish to join any of these group can just whatsapp me i'll be giving my whatsapp number as well as my email address in my description box and those who need any of the study material for these licensing exam or any other competitive exam can also whatsapp me or just mail me i'll be uh, sending you the pdf which i am having with me so let us begin today's session so patiently watch till the end so stay tuned so here we begin part 2 tutorial of ultrasonography moving on to the 11th question the principle on which the ultrasound transducer operates is the option a photoelectric effect option b crystalline effect option c piezoelectric effect and option d transducer effect the answer is option c piezoelectric effect so let's see the explanation an ultrasound transducer converts electrical energy into mechanical energy that is the sound energy and back again based on the piece of electric effect moving on to the next question question number 12 the piece of electric crystal may be made of option a aluminum option b calcium tungsten option c quartz and option d lithium fluoride the answer is option c quartz so let's see the explanation 
the most well known and the first piece of electric material used in electronic devices is a quartz crystal question number 13 what is the wavelength of ultrasound in water option a 1.5 mm option b 3 mm option c 4.5 mm and option d 6 mm the answer is option a 1.5 mm the frequency used in ultrasonic diagnosis are in the range of 1 to 10 megahertz the speed of sound waves in the tissue of a human body averages about 1540 meter per second it is the speed means the velocity which is close to that of water so how can we calculate the wavelength the wavelength of a 1 megahertz wave it can be calculated from this equation that is lambda is equal to v by f where v is the velocity and f is the frequency you just write it down in your notebook then it will be more clear that this lambda is, is equal to v by f which is equal to 1540 divided by 1 into 10 raised to 6 which is equal to 1540 into 10 raised to minus 6 then lambda is equal to 1.54 into 10 raised to minus 3 which is equal to 1.54 mm so the calculating the wavelength of ultrasound in water what is the wavelength it is 1.5 mm moving on to the next question question number 14 the speed of ultrasound depends on option a medium option b amplitude option c material and option d wavelength the answer is option c material so let's see the explanation the speed of ultrasound in tissue depends on the stiffness and density stiffer material example solid transmit ultrasound faster ultrasound which enters tissue may be transmitted attenuated or reflected moving on to the next question question number 15 ultrasound waves produced for sonography is due to option a x rays option b electrical effect option c sound effect and option d is piezo electric effect the answer is option d piezo electric effect so let's see the explanation ultrasound is produced and detected using an ultrasound transducer transducer is otherwise known as the probe The ultrasound transducer are capable of sending an ultrasound and then the same transducer can detect the sound and convert it into an electrical signal to be diagnosed. To produce an ultrasound the piezoelectric crystal has an alternative current applied across it. The piezoelectric crystal grows and shrinks depending on the voltage run through it running an alternating current through it causes it to vibrate at a high speed and to produce an ultrasound the conversion of electrical energy to mechanical energy is known as the piezoelectric effect so the basic principle of ultrasound is piezo electric effect and this is how the ultrasound or the sound waves are produced question number 16 which of the following is not a property of acoustic waves option a pressure and particle velocity are in phase option b particles in the medium oscillate with equal exertion in the positive and negative directions option c the wave front is attenuated by converting the energy in the pressure wave to heat and option d there is movement of the material so which of the following is not a property of the acoustic wave so the answer is d 
there is movement of the material. To the next question, question number 17. A piezoelectric crystal is used to produce the sound waves. What kind of ultrasound is produced? Option A, pressure wave ultrasound. Option B, electrical wave ultrasound. Option C, sound wave ultrasound. And option D, simple ultrasound. The answer is option A, pressure wave ultrasound. So let's see the explanation. A piezoelectric crystal is a special transducer which converts a mechanical energy into electrical energy and vice versa. We have already discussed but once again I am explaining. Thus, when the electrical impulses are given to the transducer, it is converted into mechanical energy. The transducer starts vibrating causing a pressure difference and the ultrasound waves are produced. Moving on to the next question, question number 18. When an abdomen ultrasound is done, why it is advised to have a full bladder? Option A, to have a good acoustic window. Option B, to increase the water content. Option C, to lower impedance. And option D is to allow for better propagation of waves. The answer is option A to have a good acoustic window. So let's see the explanation. Acoustic window is a small opening through which the sound waves can pass and can help image the structures beyond. When the bladder is full, it is properly stretched and the folds of the bladder do not provide any impedance. The water helps in the better propagation of the sound and visualization of the structures beyond the bladder. Moving on to the next question, question number 19. As ultrasound is transmitted through tissue, its intensity decreases because of Option A, excitation. Option B, absorption. Option C, scattering. And option D, is divergence. The answer is option B, absorption. So let's see the explanation. As the ultrasound beam travels through the body, it loses energy. The intensity and the amplitude of the sound waves decreases and this process is known as attenuation. Attenuation depends on the frequency of the sound. The higher the frequency, the greater the amount of attenuation that will occur in any given tissue. Moving on to the next question, question number 20. Which of the following types of tissue would have the lowest mean propagation velocity? Option A, air. Option B, bone. Option C, water. And option D is the soft tissue. The answer is option A, air, which is having the lowest mean propagation velocity, whereas the highest mean propagation velocity is the water. So, let's see the explanation. In general, the propagation speed is lowest through air, that is 330 meter per second. And fat it is 1450 meter per second. The fastest is through muscle that is 1580 meter per second. And bone it is 4080 meter per second. Hope you all are happy with today's session. In other sessions, all our months lie in the wishes. Again, with that, I have one more uh, important thing to share is that. Uh, you, uh, this good standing certificate. I have before I have told you that private body registration is accepted, but the good standing certificate of a private body is not accepted. This you have to buy from your department uh, manager. That means where you are currently working, that department chief can provide you a good standing certificate or the HOD or the head of the department where you are working. Uh, the HOD can also provide a good standing certificate. Only this good standing certificate will be accepted by the ministry at the time of data flow. 
it was a yet another query i usually receive from many of my viewers so patiently wait till next sunday for my new upload until then stay safe stay healthy as you know that uh, our pandemic is getting on worse day by day so nothing is there to get pa be panic only thing is that maintain all the covid protocols and always be safe and patiently wait and stay tuned for my next update before that as i always say if you like all my videos please share among your friends colleagues and please do support me and enable the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading so until then bye bye